Top story on KCAL 9 News at noon. Some people fear today's protests could be even uglier than what happened earlier this week. That's when dozens of people blocked the roadway and prevented busloads of immigrants from getting to the processing center. KCAL 9's Car Finstrom is live in Murrieta. She's been there all day where protesters have already gathered in anticipation of more arrivals. Cara. And just behind us here, you can see a crowd of about 100 protesters that has been raising flags and signs and chanting throughout the morning here. Yellow police tape and a line of officers with riot batons are holding them back from the border station where those buses of undocumented immigrants may be arriving today. Although for security reasons, there is still no official word on if and when they will come here. Now, let's show you some video that was taken earlier as police sealed off a large section of the street and pushed back protesters. One man and Larry Spencer refused to leave. He remained calm as he was put in handcuffs. The sergeant you see with him tells me Spencer was arrested for delaying an officer. Moments before, Spencer told us he believes immigration laws are being broken and wants his voice heard. It's a free speech issue, and I, I don't see that too easily, so I'm not going anywhere. These are children, lady. Apparently, you probably don't have any. You don't know what it is to be a mom. You sacrifice for your children, regardless of how you send them. Tensions have been growing here in Murrieta since city leaders announced they expect to be processing about 140 undocumented immigrants at this station every three days. Texas, Texas authorities say a surge of illegal crossings there has overwhelmed them and they need help. Protesters on both sides say it's a complicated problem. It's a terrible situation, but we can't. We can't do it all, you know, because I'm sure you're aware, you know, what are we going to do? The Federal Reserve is just going to continue to write checks for money that doesn't exist, and then the deficit goes up, and then the, I'm worried about my kids' future. Especially on a day that we celebrate freedom and independence, it's especially important to be here and to say we treat people with dignity, especially people that, are, that have suffered and that have encountered a very difficult life experience. On Tuesday, protesters did block what were supposed to be the first three buses of immigrants. They ended up detouring to other processing stations for medical screenings and background checks. A Border Patrol union representative tells us that one of the agents involved soon developed a rash and has tested positive for scabies, and another is being tested. He says proper procedures are not in place to deal with the huge influx. Now, back here live, you can see the crowds here. A sergeant tells us that crowds are also gathering further up and down the street beyond the roadblocks. We have sent one of our crews to one of those locations, and I'm told that there are about 50 protesters there. We will continue to monitor the situation as it develops and keep you updated. Reporting live here in Murrieta, Cara Finstrom, KCAL 9 News. Yeah, you're full of it. Government murders the people.
people, like Mao Zedong. That I agree with you. Just people like should, Hitler. People should be able to be armed. Fuck is right. Fuck is right. We got trouble here. Hey. We got trouble? Oh, yeah, we got trouble. Let's find Let's out go. what's going on. Let's have a load of police. Let's go. We got a whole bunch of police here. We got a whole bunch of police here. It looks like the left uh, left wing protesters have come into the Patriot camp. Oh, we got someone handcuffed. There's a left-wing protester who's been arrested. She's handcuffed. She's calling them fascist pigs. This is Occupy. Occupy protesters. Let's go find out what happened. Wow. She is really fired up. Hey, what happened? I missed it. It's the same problem child that was on that side that we got kicked out. Yeah, was she, was she, then, she a left wing she protester? Was, she is, but the other guy's an idiot that's in that car. He's the guy with the, the earrings that what? we got out of the other side. Have the police talked to him yet? Yeah, he's around. So were they trying to start a fight? Huh? Were they trying to start a fight over here? Were they trying to start a fight over here with you guys? I wasn't part of it. I don't know. These are left-wing protesters, provocateurs, came into the Patriot camp, really trying to stir it up. Wow. Marietta police have done a pretty good job here of uh, dealing with it. Wow. Come on. 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 Come on.
Sorry, sorry, sorry. Hey, all right, man. Are they are they like occupying protesters or something? Yeah, they're uh, pro illegal aliens. If they've been shipped in from the outside, are they no, not from this community? Or are they from outside of uh, Marietta, LA? LA. Yeah. And so they, did, I see two got arrested. Were they trying to start a fight with with yeah, the yeah, they, with they, the peaceful they, protesters? They got, I heard that they got into a fight with a uh, Hispanic police officer. That's down there. Oh, with a, with a police officer. Right. Wow. He had two police officers had two people on them. So we've got we've got the local police have got them under watch here. They're anarchists. Yeah, they're anarchists. I, I saw them calling the police fascist pigs. I heard that at the Occupy rally. Interesting. And I've been watching Marietta Police. They've done a damn good job communicating with people, trying to keep the peace. So. Yeah, they, they tried to pick a fight with us. We were on the other side. We, we were here all day, but we went over there for just a while. You know our rights, and we came, by the way. We went over there and all of a sudden, they started uh, all of our rights. They pushed my mom from behind. Are you an anarchist? Yeah. So they, they, they physically pushed? Yeah, they physically pushed her, my mom, and my mom almost tripped. We caught her in time and we almost got into a big fist fight. So are these these are like provocateurs. Yeah, they want to start, they instigate a fight so we get we can get into it. Yeah. And then either take me to jail or take one of them to jail. So, so these are protesters been bust in from the outside just and they're trying to start fights. Right. Basically. Right. Basically. Yeah. Wow, that's pretty shocking, but not, not unexpected to be quite honest. Well, it happens on all all the ra all the rallies. Uh, they show up from different. Uh, Places and they start burning American flags and, and um, start tearing them up. I saw them tear up a lot of American flags up on yeah. the fence. Yeah, I mean that's that's disgusting. It is yeah. disgusting. Yeah. I mean, you got these soldiers who work fighting for this country, and this is how they get repaid. Yeah. It's pretty they're giving them the freedom to go out there and for these people that live the way they live. Yeah. And these soldiers are just like practically almost like spit on when you rip up the flag. Anarchists. Yeah. <coughs> Me, I'm a naturalized citizen. It makes me sick when I see this shit. So you, you're you're a naturalized citizen. Right. You're American citizen. Yeah. My grand, my great grandfather was Secretary of State of Mexico, Juan Corona Vega. Wow. And um, my grandfather, he told us about this. Uh, told us about this. He told us that years ago. Uh, no, about uh, 2002. He told us uh, about. Uh, what they say in Mexico, a saying that they have. Uh, one of these days, Mexico, uh, Mexico will be in the United States, and the United States will be in Mexico because we breed like rats. That's what he told me. And what do you know about the North American Union? You think that's uh, in the works with na after NAFTA? Uh, no, I got suntan lotion in my eyes. Um, I, don't, I don't care about that. I don't care about that stuff. Um, it's another way of uh, Americans here losing, losing more work and more uh, jobs. I mean, mostly it's all multi old jobs. Uh, I used to own a tree business. Now the trees business went to hell because of these illegal aliens. They, when they do, they do a hit and run, I'm the only legal tree trimmer, or CS tree trimmer. And when they show, CHP shows at my house, who's the legal guy? Look him up in the phone book or internet. I'm the only one. I had a dunk the business. You're a minute man? Yeah. And you, you help help along the border of right. California? Right. Volunteer? Right. Yeah, well done. I've been doing it for the past uh, nine years. Yep. When my entire family. So you, you know but you know what goes on on the border, don't yeah. you? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, we have uh, family members that are politicians in Mexi uh, Mexico, Federal District, and uh, other parts of Mexico like that. They've told us before that sir, um, Andrew Tamaresti, he's being charged and he should have been let go a long time ago. But they're still, uh, they're keeping him hostage, keeping him in there as hostage, Did as a prisoner. Bargaining chip? Yeah, bargaining chip. And it's, it's disgusting the way, it doesn't have to do nothing with the president uh, of Mexico. It, it's just the uh, the governor of Tijuana, that's where the guys, not with the federal. The federals are all, all mouth. Like my uncle said, 
they were supposed to, uh, the uh, Mexican police was supposed to let him go by back to the border. Federal police shows up and they want to arrest and make a big thing out of it. Right. Like a trophy. Yeah, like a trophy. Yeah. I mean, the police, would, if you go down to Tijuana and you look in the bars, what do you see? Mexican police inside the park because they work together. You know, that's, that's the way it works down there. So Andrew Tamriz, you shouldn't really be in uh, Takati prison. Right, shouldn't even be in there. It's these these people here hate them, hate Americans. They hate even in Mexico they hate Americans too. Oh, more cars. Uh oh, thank you very much. You're welcome. Let me give you my card so you know.